Andrew Neal has lashed out at an SNP activist who suggested it was time to move on as the country honored its Battle of Britain heroes. Ruth Wishart sparked outrage when she posted her controversial views on social media. The journalist and broadcaster tweeted, WW2 finished 75 years ago. None of the Battle of Britain pilots is still alive. It's not dishonoring their memory or any sacrifices to think it's time to move on. BBC political heavyweight Mr. Neal was quick to respond with a savage put down. He tweeted, Indeed. Any chance you and your party might move on from the Battle of Bannockburn, 1314. I don't think anybody who took part is that is still alive either. Ms. Wishart was then forced to apologize for her initial tweet after being told one of the flying aces who protected Britain in 1940 was still alive today. She said, sincere apologies to Battle of Britain pilot John Hemingway who is still alive at 101. I suggested none were, and got that wrong. The Battle of Britain was a major air campaign fought in the skies over the UK in 1940, and although the battle took place between July and October, September 15 saw the RAF gain a decisive victory over the Luftwaffe in what was Nazi Germany's largest daylight attack. Some 1,120 Luftwaffe aircraft were sent to attack London, but were repelled by just 630 RAF fighters, and two days later Hitler postponed his plans to invade Britain. Westminster Abbey has held a service of thanksgiving and rededication on Battle of Britain Sunday every year since 1944. Ms. Wishart's comments came as the heroism of the few was acknowledged at Yetterday's small and intimate service at the Abbey to mark the battle's 80th anniversary. The annual service usually attracts around 2,200 people as the UK remembers the first battle in history fought entirely in the air during the Second World War. This year's service, the Abbey's first since lockdown, saw attendance significantly reduced and social distancing measures in place for 79 invited guests. Chairs for the guests, who were all wearing a face covering, were placed at the transepts of the church close to the altar. Each chair was spaced out two meters apart to allow social distancing, with protective plastic screens separating the north and south transepts.